so far arun has uh, described developing a common bundle and a service bundle so we have a bundle which is exporting a package and a service which is con uh, de deploying a uh, service implementing that pack uh, interface now i'll uh, take you through the steps needed to create a simple client which will uh, locate the service and invoke it let's see so we'll do a new project again it's a maven project maven uh, simple maven project hit next select the default maven quick quick start archetype then hit next let's give it a name we'll call it simple client since uh, it's a client bundle we don't have to export anything so all our classes will be part of the simple package hit finish now netbeans is creating all the necessary packages and files for us there you go so it has created this structure for us uh, next we are going to drill down to the source package and add a uh, new class there which will be our locator class let's give it a name service locator it's in the impl package we have a code template here basically this class is going to uh, locate the osj service using service tracker okay let's first resolve all the uh, dependencies now service tracker is a osj compendium service so yes so we have added a dependency on that bundle now let's resolve the imports okay this is bundle context is coming from org osj core namespace perfect now let's resolve all the imports now user auth service is again uh, we need to resolve that dependency to our common bundle fair enough now let's get the import for that yeah so now that we have this code let's just look at it it uses a service tracker and uh, as soon as the service it is waiting indefinitely if it is you can see we are using a timeout of minus one that means it will wait until the service is available now let's create a new activator where we will use this service locator and we'll call the class a service simple simple client activator perfect so it will implement the bundle activator interface of OSCI as you can see now we have a code template to generate that activation code as you can see in the activator we spawn a new thread and in we wait indefinitely for the service to be available as soon as the service is available we register three users called CERN, Oracle and IBM with some simple passwords since it's a bad idea to uh, wait indefinitely in the activator we actually spawn a new thread where we are doing the service waiting so this uh, we have now generated all the necessary code let's build this project As part of build, NetBeans will also install it in Maven local repository and in the OBR because you have configured the bundle plugin to update the OBR in any time a bundle is installed in the Maven local repository. This Maven OBR is a the Maven based OBR is a very nice concept that you can take advantage in your uh, environment. Now let's look at the uh, manifest that got generated. Properties file. Okay, we missed it. Oh, actually we have not uh, men mentioned the Maven pl bundle plugin that we have a activator. So let's create a new uh, OSJ.properties file, new properties file, 
we'll call it OSGI and we need one entry called bundle activator and this is our activator let's save it and rebuild again and we'll look at the manifest that gets generated simple flying dirt jar meta nf manifest.mf as you can see our bundle activator has been is now available in the manifest file then the maven bundle plugin automatically passed all our classes generates appropriate import package statements and since we have nothing to export there is no export package this uh, completes the bun simple client bundle generation part so now that we have a common service and a client bundle created we have a usable application Glassfish provides first class facility for deploying these OSGI bundles. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to go to Glassfish Administration Console. Glassfish Administration Console is a web-based console. Um, it provides extensibility features. We have used the um, extensibility features and added OSGI administration utilities in here. So if I click on server, admin server, you'll see there's an OSGI console. This OSGI console is extending Felix uh, Web Administration Console and we have customized it to meet our needs. So in this OSGI console, let's add the OSGI repository. This is where all our bundles have been getting deployed. Now the bundle repository is really a URI. So let's add the URI of where the our repository exists. So it's users Arun Gupta dot m2 repository repository.xml so I'm going to add this repository now that the repository is added let's search on all the available bundles and since we have been using HOL in our resources all the three bundles that have the name HOL in their meta information so I'm going to expand the simple client bundle look at the data over here and I'm going to deploy this bundle I just click on this the bundle automatically gets started for me let me search back on HOL again and now you see that even though I just started simple client bundle but because of the OSGI dependencies the common bundle automatically got started for me as well so now that the simple client bundle has started the important thing to realize here is the client bundle has been started even before the service bundle has started that shows the dynamism and this is possible because of the service tracker which was actually used in our service locator class. So client keeps a track of when the bundle is up and when the bun service bundle is up, it actually invokes the service. So let's go and start our simple service here. Click here. Now one thing I would like to highlight is instead of saying just deploy, I'm selecting deploy and start. That as was the case in the previous one as well. So this will deploy the bundle and start it as well. And as you can see, some more meta information is displayed over here as well. So I click on deploy and start. And then I do a search back again on HOL. And you can see all my three bundles are now running. So let's switch to the server log that we have. In here, you can see my simple service activator has started. My simple client activator has started. And right before the activator getting started, you can see the message that we actually added to our service impl. So the registered users have been automatically registered. So see, the client bundle was started or, or earlier, service bundle as soon as it started, client bundle figured it out using the OSGI registry and invoked the service and everything concluded as expected. So this concludes our second part of the OSGI setup on Glassfish. We created a simple service, a simple client, and showed you the power of OSGI administration console embedded into the Glassfish administration console. Um, let's move on to our next part now.